Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with a brand new series which I'm excited to share with you. It is Let's Build a Sorority House and we're starting it off with a Create a Sim video for two reasons. Uh, one being that I've been having a lot of requests to show a CAS video uh, for a while now so I thought I wanted to share that with you guys. And also because basically, because I live in Australia, we don't have sorority houses here. We don't have the Greek system. So I'm going to need a lot of help with you guys on this series, uh, knowing what kind of things to put in the sorority house. So I thought what better way is there than to show kind of the backstories for each of the Sims that are going to be living in the house. So you guys can uh, give me some great ideas and I think we can work on it together and make it look uh, pretty, pretty fun fine I think um, or pretty good rather and anyway this is our first sorority girl there's going to be six in total four of them we are creating here from scratch and two of them you may recognize from my Luna Island LP who have just aged up uh, but anyway this is Sammy Clark and she is she's pretty much the hot nerd <laughs> uh, you'll notice with all of these girls they have very stereotypical uh, characters. Uh, however, all of their characters are very, um, I guess they kind of have a sassy influence on them. I wanted to have fun with that. They're kind of sassy, they're kind of glamorous. Uh, so you know that this nerdy character here, Sammy, she's kind of, we're about to change her back into that uh, checkered skirt or the schoolgirl skirt and uh, she's got a tie on and a kind of school jumper look and of course some awesome knee-high socks and these glasses which I absolutely adore. They are from The Sims 3 University Life, and I just think they are styling. Uh, I also really liked this outfit where it was now, but it didn't really, uh, it wasn't out there enough, I thought. Um, but I definitely want to dress a sim in that at some point, because I, I do like that combination quite a lot. Um, but yeah, this is Sammy Clark, and she's of course going to be doing the more sciencey subjects. The story is that she comes from a well-to-do family who want their eldest daughter to do ve to do very very well uh, in her university degree so um, yeah I'm definitely going to play with these sims after I finish this series uh, I don't know if I'll do a let's play but I'm excited to play with them and of course they'll be available for download too uh, but how this is really like going to work is that first we have this part of the series which is the create a sim video after this tomorrow night I'll be uploading the speed build of the of the sorority house and then after that we'll be furnishing it together as a series so with multiple parts the reason why I'm doing a speed build is because I've actually just been hanging out to build it and uh, I kind of I didn't want to stretch it out over a few different parts I just kind of wanted to get the build done and um, enjoy furnishing it with you guys so I'm excited, that will be up tomorrow, so whenever you're watching this, if you're kind of watching it as it comes out, it's not far off at all. And uh, I was going to renovate the sorority house that does exist already in the university world in The Sims 3, but then I decided I actually just want to build one myself because I've never done that before. The Sims 2 University uh, Life Expansion Pack well, The Sims 2 University was my favorite expansion. I cannot tell you how many hours I played that game for. It was ridiculous, but I adored it. So I'm excited to actually play The Sims 3 University Life because I haven't done that yet. Uh, but anyway, this is the next Sim and her name is Kia Menzies. I wanted a Sim to do the communications major. So she's going to have kind of a photography skill. Uh, I wanted her to be kind of edgy looking. So I've kind of gone with Asian features. I think she's so, so beautiful. And uh, she's got the most awesome lips once we finish that. Uh, you'll see in a little while. But they're kind of, I don't know, what's the word? Like cloud lips. I don't, cloud lips? That's so not the right description. Cloud, like, I don't know, pillowy. That's one. Pillowy lips, <laughs> not cloud lips. Pillowy lips, which I really think are very, very cute. And she does end up wearing my favorite top. Uh, from The Sims 3 Late Night, which is... Oh, you'll see it soon. You'll see it soon. Um, but yeah, just working with the eyebrows here. I love working on eyebrows with Sims. I particularly like making them kind of closer to the eyes and uh, arching them a little bit. So they're kind of 
not as rounded as I've noticed other Simmers kind of make them. Uh, also with the eyes, I like making them almond shaped. Uh, so they kind of point downwards uh, closest to the nose. And then at the sides, they then flick upwards. Um, that's just kind of what I've done. Uh, and especially on this Sim 2. But there's her really cute lips. I think they're very sweet. And I tried putting freckles on her, but I was like, oh, it's a little bit too much. Um... There, but yeah, I think she's quite pretty. I also do a lot of work with the cheek jowls too, typically when I'm making Sims. Uh, and I was trying to figure out what kind of hair I wanted to ha wanted her to have, uh, but I wanted her to be edgy, so I go with this really nice kind of fringe cut uh, with a ponytail, and, and I love that hairstyle. I think it's pretty rad. Um, I was so excited when that actually came out, and uh, I also love these pants from the Sims Three store. I use them all the time, uh, all, all, all the time. And there's my favorite top from The Sims 3 Late Night. I love it. I would love to wear that kind of top in real life. Um, I think it's, I think it's very nice. And of course I wanted to go with some crazy patterned pants here, uh, which I thought were very snazzy to kind of give off that, you know, she's into photography, she's into communications. Uh, she needs to have, a bit of a uh, essence about her that's very playful and um, yeah, I don't know, I like it. And I also uh, don't use any custom content when I'm creating Sims, just so you know, I don't use any custom hairs or makeup or lips or anything like that. Uh, just because, I don't know, I, I adore looking at what other Simmers create with custom content. I think it's really incredible. I think it's a great, I think this Sims 3 is a great tool for creating characters. Uh, but for me, I'm just happy with what comes with the game. Uh, that's no fuss, but I can still kind of be challenged by it um, because I have to kind of be inventive because I don't use custom content. I don't know. I like that challenge and uh, I know it's not going to screw with my game at all. So that's generally why I opt um, just for the normal game items, I suppose. And this sim here, I don't actually know who we're making yet. I guess we'll find out in a second. I think this is going to be Alison Clark. I think. Yeah, this is Alison Clark. And uh, we're working a lot on this one, uh, perfecting those lips. I'm always switching between mouth definition and the upper lip shape and upper lip thickness. And I, I wanted her to have a really kind of wide mouth. Um, I think Julia Roberts. <laughs> I think that was the inspiration for her. So I'm just playing with the eyes here again, kind of trying to go for a bit of an almondy shape about them and uh, some eyebrows there, which are quite arched because she needed to have a lot of attitude this one because she is kind of like the Regina George of the group. Um, she's not the nicest sim going around town. She comes from a family who are very preoccupied with their social ranking. Uh, so of course she has ventured out to do the same thing. Uh, she's got long hair from the base game, which I haven't used for a long time, but I do remember when The Sims 3 first came out, I was so excited about this hairstyle because it was long and luscious. Um, so yeah, that was very exciting. And putting on some makeup here, I just kind of went with a light lip, I think, like a light pinky lip. Yeah, and she's got very, very icy blue eyes because to reflect her icy soul. <laughs> Not really. I'm sure. Uh, I, I'm. I'm pretty sure Alison Clark has some nice parts about her, but uh, I would say the other ones are probably a bit more friendly. Anyway, going through some clothes here, trying to decide which items I wanted her to wear. I kind of liked this idea of her having a cardigan because it's very girl next door, very flirty, very feminine. Uh, so we go with that and a mini skirt. It's trying out quite a few different things here though. I was like, what should I put her in? And the denim shorts I was kind of tempted with, but in the end we kind of go with a sunshine yellow and blue outfit. And uh, I love that we've kind of put in some polka dots down here on the skirt as well, because I think that's very, very, very feminine when it's in that pastel color. I was gonna do pink, but then I didn't want her to be like too obviously girly. So we turn it down with yellow and uh, a gray top there. So she's ambitious, charismatic, flirty, of course, hot headed and a snob, although she isn't mean spirited. So she's not too bad. Uh, 
Allison isn't too bad, but she's definitely going to get the biggest and most luxurious room of the house, I think. Although it'll be interesting to see one of the uh, the other girls um, who may want to challenge Allison on her ranking in the house, I guess. Uh, this is Estelle. Um, Estelle Lee, and she is our sporty sim. Uh, she's going to be studying, I guess, athletics or whatever the sporty one is. So she's a little bit more uh, muscly, a bit more built and toned. Um, so I wanted her appearance to be very, very beautiful and strong looking, I suppose. So there we are with those almond shaped eyes again, uh, playing with her nose a lot. And I kind of enjoyed having this really thick, lush uh, ponytail for her because I wanted her to have really dark, beautiful features. Uh, so I was trying out a few different things, but I ended up thinking that um, she looked good a lot darker and I don't know, I just think she's really beautiful and I love her lips and stuff. I do love creating sims. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. I love doing it as much as building houses probably. Uh, although I probably don't do it as often uh, as I would like to, but I really liked these thick eyebrows. I thought they were pretty rad and badass. Uh, and just making some changes here to the nose. Um, I like working on the nose quite a bit, just giving it a bit more character. And I often like my sims not looking too perfect. I like them to have to look a bit more real because if you make them all like perfect looking I feel like they all end up looking the same um so yeah just playing with the nose there I do love this high ponytail I know it's a bit of an overkill I, I like it when you view it from the front but not so much from her portrait side because I feel like from the front it looks more realistic and then you turn her on her side and it's like a horse's tail <laughs> uh oh, dreads actually would have been really cool now I think of it I should have gone dreads uh, but we can change that, I guess, because um, dreads, are, dreads are just awesome. Oh, I went with the ponytail, I think, because uh, she'd be running around a lot. So I thought that would make sense. Trying out which eyeliner I wanted here, and we go with kind of a cat eye, I think, in the end. And I also often put down the opacity level with the eyeliner just because it looks a bit heavy. And I don't want all my sims looking like goths. <laughs> uh, yeah, and she kind of goes with a plummy orangey lip color, I think. Uh, but I just think she's stunning, this one. I think they're all stunning in their own way, but I particularly warmed um, to Estelle. And finding out a top here for her to wear, I was going to go with the halter neck and I was kind of thinking of her wearing the athletic top and shorts. But in the end, she becomes a little bit more styling uh, with a pair of shorts that are kind of like skorts, I think. Um, but this is pretty cool. I love this crew neck top. Um, I have a crew neck top kind of like that with maroon sleeves, which I wear all the time. I guess it's more of a raglan tee, I suppose. And I thought that was kind of cool. And those denim shorts from the store I particularly like as well. But we were trying like a whole lot of different things here. Uh, those pants again occur. This would have been a pretty cool outfit, but I was like, she doesn't look athletic enough. I wanted to look like she's just on like running around all the time almost. But then I wanted her to look fashionable at the same time. So we do change her. It's putting on some heels as well, uh, which were a bit of an overkill. And some of the late night skirts are so short, my goodness. Uh, only Sims could get away with them. <laughs> we go with these shorts here, which are pretty cool. I think they're from the 70s, 80s, and 90s stuff pack. But I think they're rad. I would wear these shorts in real life, totally. Uh, so I decided to pair this top that looks like it's been kind of tucked into the shorts. Um, so the shorts look sporty, but then the top is a lot more dressy. And I think that worked out quite well. Just trying out a few different things here and I end up putting a pattern on the bottom of the shorts but looking back at this I really could have gone with so many different colors I would have been happy with a lot of these that I'm kind of flying through uh, it's just interesting kind of watching it back and you're like oh I should have kept that like that outfit just then with that mango color that was pretty awesome uh, I did like that that's nice too with the orange why did I stick with that Ah, oh, Deli. <laughs> uh, but in the end, you know, it still looks nice, I think. We go with the grey and kind of a rich pinky peachy colour, which I do like. And uh, yeah, she's pretty cool. I am excited to get her athletic skill up. And I'm excited to do her room, actually, because we can put up lots of flags and fun stuff like that. 
putting on some earrings here as well. Do I actually keep these earrings? I don't even know. Uh, or did we go with hoops? Trying out a few different things, but of course she is athletic. Uh, that was the number one. She's hot headed as well. She loves the outdoors. She's a pate animal too, which is quite interesting. Uh, so she will be definitely getting getting on that juice keg. Now, this sim you may recognize. This is Trinity Ballantyne from my Lunar Island Let's Play series. She has just aged up, so I was picking her outfit here, and it was so funny that she aged up in that leopard outfit because it's so typically Trinity. <laughs> uh, if you don't know her background story, she comes from a very affluent family full of scandal, and she is... Very flirty. Uh, she likes hitting on her best friend's boyfriends. Uh, so she, she's a bit of a worry. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, and I think it'll be interesting to see how Trinity and Regina... Uh, I mean, not Regina. <laughs> Trinity and Allison get along in the house. Uh, I would say that Trinity would probably give Allison a run for her money for who is, I guess leading the sorority house. But I love this outfit of hers with this plum dress and the orangey brownie boots. And of course I had to put a pair of socks there because it just finishes off the outfit. Uh, but yes, Trinity is very, very gorgeous. And joining her is Jordan from the Luna Island Let's Play. Jordan has also aged up and her hair was pink, but we've actually cut it off uh, into a pixie crop now that she's a little bit older. And I love her hair. I think it's really cool. Uh, we might, I don't know, I might color it laid down track. I do like her with colored hair, but I just thought the pixie crop couldn't be beaten um, from its ice blonde color we have here. So I also used uh, some diesel pants or diesel jeans. I really like how they're kind of tomboyish. They've got that rolled up look about them. I have a pair of jeans similar to this in real life and I love them. They are literally the most comfortable things you will ever wear. They're so good. Uh, so yeah, she's she's very much a tomboy. I really want her to become very rebellious, uh, which we were trying to achieve in the Luna Island LP. She's artistic, so she's going to be doing an art major, um, particularly focusing on street art. So I wanted her to look, I don't know, rebellious, I suppose. And she also, which is my favorite thing, uh, gets some tattoos as well now that she's aged up. Which is my favorite thing about her. She's, I would have to say Jordan is one of my favorite Sims I've ever made in The Sims 3. Uh, just because she's very edgy. And uh, I like that about her. Putting some tattoos here. I love the one going down her spine. And there's one on the back of her neck as well. Which I thought was pretty cool because it kind of aligns uh, with the one on her spine. And of course there is one on her forearm too. Which is very good. I can see her with a really, really cute guy with tattoos, like a tattoo sleeve as well. Uh, I might make Jordan in The Sims 4 again. She, I think she'd be one of the Sims I'd want to try and remake in The Sims 4 uh, because I love her. Anyway, here are some screenshots of The Sims. Uh, that was Sammy Clark and here we've got a bit of a high five going on. Uh, there's Regina, well aka Allison. Trinity not really getting along with Sammy there. Uh, but yeah, basically these are the girls. I'm really excited uh, to be sharing this with you guys and I will have the speed build up tomorrow. So I better get cracking on that, which will be exciting because I haven't done that before. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.